lot of customers, I think a lot of customers have this problem where uh, they have equipment out there and a forklift will hit it. Well, that's what happened in this case. Customer called me and said uh, his stretch wrapper's not working. And so uh, he thinks that a forklift hit it. So yeah, forklift hits it. That's gonna kinda prevent, you know, things from working right. So anyway, let's go in here, take a look, see what we can find out. Okay, what I've got here is a uh, Phoenix uh, EHP 2150. It's a high profile. Uh, when I come up to it, what I look, found was I didn't have any voltage. Couldn't get anything. Had no had voltage here on the power supply coming in. Nothing coming out. Well, the customer said somebody hit the turntable and what had happened was right here it pinched some wires right here where it wouldn't uh, make a connection so I pushed this out of the way kind of jiggled these wires a little bit and now power comes on okay we've got power on that so that looks like that was the problem and I want to show you here on the turntable you got three bolts to hold the turntable down to take the turntable off take those three bolts off get you a lifting eye right here it'll screw in to this I believe that's a half inch uh, uh, standard thread, not metric, standard thread. And then I take a pry bar, put across here the forklifts, and he can lift it straight up. I'm going to put it back on here, uh, get him to put it back on here, and I'll show you how when we do that. But right now, I'm going to see if I can fix these wires so they're not pinching again, and then uh, get this customer back up and going. Okay, we're gonna set this back up on here. That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, just come straight down. Yeah, there, there you go. Go ahead, come on down. Yep. That'll work. Appreciate it. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up these holes here uh, and then uh, put the screws back in. I'll show you how I do that. Now, what I do, I'll shine a light down in. It's going to be hard to do with kind of one. So I'm going to get one set up and then I'll show you. But I shine a light down in here until I line up one and I take one of these cheap screwdrivers hold that one and then spin it around until I get the other two lined up and then I can put my screws in so let me get one of them then I'll show you all right I got one of them lined up and then you can see you can spin this around this one lines up so now I can put a screw in this one over here this around a little bit come on I know you want to go in there there we go all right that one's in there. There we go. That one's in there. And then that one's in there. All right. And then just tighten these up. These are on Phoenix wrappers. 
they're all standard. They're made in Canada, uh, and the way they make them, they make them all standard. So what you want to do, you want to be careful, because what you're doing, you're pulling that that uh, sprocket that's underneath there. You're pulling it up even, so you don't want to get it cocked in there. So you kind of kind of want to pull it up, and then once you get all of them up, then you can tighten these down. Okay, now, we got that done. I'm gonna stick some film on here and get this wrapped and see what it looks like. Okay, we got that one all fixed up. Satisfied customer. Um, now we just move on to the next one. So, uh, I, let me mention this. General rule of thumb on a, uh, a turntable that's being loaded by a forklift, uh, I do not recommend anchoring them down because a forklift's gonna bump it. You know, it's gonna happen unless they have a scale built in on the wrapper. The forklift cannot bump it, period. Absolutely cannot, because that will affect the scale. It throws the scale out of calibration. Uh, and I do not calibrate scales. So I have to get a scale company out here for that. Um, so, but I generally, rule of thumb, I don't recommend uh, anchoring them down. This one, as you can see, it's called a split base. Um, it has the, tower on one end and the turntable is far away from it because of the what they're doing they're doing a seven eight foot nine foot uh pallet and need that rotation uh area to uh clear everything uh and it just has a cable that, that connects it that's it um so the forklift's going to bump that and what's happening is uh it's pinching the wire so and this is not the first time that's happened uh not the second time that's happened so uh, I don't think it's the third time it's happened, but uh, it's, it's happened multiple times. So I just recommended to the customer, look, I can anchor this one down. So he's, he's got to get the approval for that. And then I'll come back and do that. Uh, so uh, if you think of things like that, mention to the customer, hey, I can do that. And you decide if you want to do it or not. Uh, they appreciate that. So uh, I'm, I'll do that and see, give him a quote and see what it takes to uh, uh, what he wants to do about that. Um, if you've got any questions, shoot me an email, comment below. Um, let me know, you know, what uh, what your questions are, and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, all right, you guys have a great day.